Alright, what's up guys? Yet another Medal of Honor video. This time though, it's something very different and uh, I'm proving that you can rush and I'm using the shotgun. A lot of people have always always asked for the shotgun and so I threw it on and this time I'm using the slugs. This is actually the first time I've ever used the slugs. Um, if you don't know, if you pre-ordered the game, you actually got early access to the combat shotguns. So uh, that's why I'm able to use this at such a low level. Um, one of the things that the slugs do for you is they do increase damage by a substantial margin. And they also seem to increase range. Now, the biggest downfall to slugs is in close quarters combat is it reduces the spread. And if you don't hit somebody right dead on, you'll often get caught in the pump action and get killed. Um, what, that's one of the most important things you want to you want to think about when you're rushing with the shotgun. Is that you want to... You really, really think about your shots because if you get caught in the pump, you're obviously going to die, um, especially if you miss them. I think there's going to be a situation coming up right here where I get caught in the pump after I snipe this guy with the pistol. Uh, yeah, right here. See, I missed him. I get caught in the pump and he no scopes me. So he got kind of lucky there, but uh, whatever. You know, snipers run rampant. They're going to be your biggest enemy when you're, when you're rushing with the shotgun because you're not going to be able to hit them. Uh, what you really want to do is think about trying to sneak up on them. Um, you really want to plan your movements because this is not a rushing game. You cannot go modern warfare and run into a crowd of people and get a four piece with the shotgun. It just doesn't work like that. Um, I usually try to aim with this thing, you know, chest high. Uh, that isn't always the best strategy, especially if you don't think you're going to, if you're really in a rush to shoot, even if you just get it somewhere on their body, usually the slug will take them out. Because, I mean, realistically, if you get shot in the abdomen by a shotgun slug, it's going to destroy every vital organ in your body. So, uh, <laughs> it would only make sense that uh, you get a one-hit kill. Uh, you are going to see that the, the range on this thing is quite substantial, especially when using the slugs. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll highlight that later in the video. You'll see a few pieces where I'm sniping somebody. But, uh, I found that Cabal City Ruins is one of the best maps for rushing with this shotgun. Um, I know it pretty well just because I played so much of the beta, and I've been playing this, you know, this game obviously quite a bit lately, and uh, I, just, I don't know, this is my favorite map in the game. I think it's well balanced, it's a lot of fun, it reminds me of a COD map. Now right there, you see how far I got that guy with one hit kill, I don't know if he had any uh, damage on him, I don't know what this guy's doing, I guess he's uh, thinking about thinking about how he's gonna gonna scope or uh, scope in and do some quick scoping on me, because that's basically what he did, he just sat there and tried to quick scope me, but uh... I don't know. Right there's another example of the range. Um, I got that guy in the back though, so uh, from that distance I don't know if it would have been a one-hit kill if he was facing me. Who knows. Um, seems like sometimes it's a one-hit kill, sometimes it's not, so that's kind of kind of iffy on that. But uh, you really want to plan your movements. Right now I'm kind of uh, using my UAV and using my cover, going from cover to cover, uh, waiting for people to come at me. Um, I like to sit in like the outside skirts of my team so that I'm kind of like the entry point for everyone else. Um, that's all. That's kind of a strategy I've always used with like light machine guns, but uh, I kind of kind of utilize it here with the uh, shotgun. So, I mean, if you're if you're having problems with this game, this is probably not a a good class setup for you because I would say this is probably one of the worst class setups. Uh, I don't. When I say worst, I don't mean it's like a bad class setup. It's just compared to the assault rifle and all the other ones, you're going to be at a at a disadvantage. But uh, if you're feel if you feel like you're not challenging yourself enough, this is a lot of fun to use. Um, this game is probably one of the most fun games I've ever played in Medal of Honor, just because it's really rewarding to get a shotgun kill. You see right there, getting some long range or long range shots on him, but I'm taken out by an assault rifle, which uh, does have the advantage on you. So. That's kind of a bummer, and I'm gonna call in my predator. I think I have a ro yeah, the rocket strike here. I don't know if I get a predator in this game or not. But uh, usually, as a general rule, I'll always go for the defensive actions just because you seem to get more points for on them. Um, Caldwell City Ruins is not really a good airstrike map. I've found out, um, especially like it seems like it would be if you get them caught in their spawn, but sometimes it just doesn't work that way. I call that rocket strike right in on front because there there's a bunch of snipers camping in that building. And I'm able to get, I think I, I think I got four piece there, yeah, got a four piece there, so that was pretty sweet. And I uh, decided to go straight for the uh, for the UAV, and little, I already have another rocket strike in my pocket from that. So uh, that's one of the advantages of using the defensive actions is you get the bonus points. 
Um, the Mortar Strike to me is about useless unless you have them spawn trapped, so I rarely use that. Um, on occasion, if I think that there's a guy uh, camping around the corner and I'm not going to be able to get him, I'll sometimes burn a Mortar Strike on him just because uh, dying in this game is the worst possible thing you can do, obviously, so uh, I try to avoid that. And right here, I think I'm calling in... Falling on my rocket strike on that building again. I don't think I get anything with it though. So, oh well, yeah, I get I get one, but nothing nothing special. Um, you see, you see, my movements here are real tactical. Right here, I'm gonna try to make a decision. I'm deciding if I want to go this way or this way. I'm trying to predict the spawn. But the biggest uh, assist you can get when rushing on this game is by looking where your teammates are. Your teammates will often give you a good uh, good indicator of where their spawns are and where they're gonna be kind of funneling in from. Um, you really want to just kind of kind of guard the choke points and rush towards that if you're if you're uh, rushing with this gun. Uh, for long range shots, you see there, I whip out my pistol, but they don't. Pistol's not really that good in this game. Um, I think you have a 1911, but I'm not sure. Depends on which uh, which side you're playing at, but I don't know. That's all the really tips I have for it on that. I'll go ahead and talk a few, th <laughs> say a few things I have about the game in general. Um, right now I found that combat mode is really unbalanced. If you guys have been playing any of that, I've noticed that just in general it kind of, you know, everybody wants to be a sniper and everybody just sits there and snipes and nobody really plays the objective. Usually the attackers win and it seems like it's a lot easier to be the attackers as you see me miss a jump shot. <laughs> it's a lot easier to play as the attackers than the uh, defenders, but I don't know. That could just be uh, I'm getting on bad teams. Because as of now I have not found anybody who uh, is... Wanting to play Medal of Honor, so if you're a Medal of Honor player, pretty decent player, uh, send me a message on Xbox Live, and we'll see about playing together. Because I'm always looking for people to play this game. I'm um, still looking for Reach players too. So if you play Reach and you have above a 1 KD, send me a message on that. Um, either of these games, these are the two games that I'm playing the most right now. So uh, be nice to find some people who are on at the same time as I am. Because as of now, I have a bunch of people on my list, and I haven't really played with anybody. Um, see right there was an example of me not getting on target and not getting the kill, but you're not going to win every battle, especially when you're rushing in this game, because it is a uh, more tactical game than maybe like a Call of Duty or something like that. But um, I have a, I think I have about oh, six hours played in game, which doesn't sound like a lot. I really don't have a whole lot of time to play play this, you know, because I'm splitting my playing time between Reach and this. So, uh, six hours played, I have a 3KD, um, I still have not unlocked the F2000, um, I've been trying to get to that point, but I've just been, uh, just been, li I've been liking the, uh, specialist class right now, because I really like the M4's iron sights, I don't know what it is about the iron sights on that thing, but I like it a lot, it, uh, I don't know, I just, I, you know how I, I really, I really, uh, talk crap on it, I guess you could say. <laughs> In the uh, beta, I did not like the M4 at all, but I got used to it, and you see me get a nice little twofer there. I got used to it, and I I don't know, I've just been having a lot of fun using it. The iron sights on it are great. It seems like the recoil is a, uh, a lot lower than the M16. Um, it's a lot better in close, th too, so that's one thing the, that it has over the M16. I would say its biggest downfall is a little bit long range, or sh long range shooting, but... That's not really an issue since I play. I usually play a pretty aggressive style when I'm playing team team assault like this. Um, so if you haven't seen my M4 video, you might want to check that out. It's it is on my channel. It's a I think it's the last video I posted. So I talk about my thoughts on the M4 and that if you're interested in some uh, elaboration on that topic. But I would say if you're bored with this game already, pop on a shotgun, try to rush. I know it's I know it would be frustrating at first, but you know. It eventually gets better once you get your uh, movements down, your flanking movements. I went 20 and 6 in this game. Um, I can usually pose better with an assault rifle, but I think this is a decent score. It's uh, about a 3, almost a 4 KD, so I would say it's a success. But I'm going to hold off on any more Medal of Honor videos for a while. If you guys have any requests on weapons, leave a comment and let me know because I'm pretty well versed with all the weapons. Um, the next game you'll probably see from me is my 39 and 3 combat mission. I wanted to get that up. But uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.